Hello everyone, Cece here. Welcome to I Organized. <laughs> Organizing is a passion for me. I'm not an expert, but I try to be organized as much as I can. And today I'm going to show you how I have found the perfect wallet for me. I know it's not craft related, but I thought it was such a great idea that I needed to share with you guys. Now, the original idea is not mine. I totally, totally stole this from a channel called home organizing and the person that owns the channel her name is Alejandra and I hope I'm pronouncing her name right but she's a professional home organizer and she's got amazing amazing videos so go check out her channel I'll put the link down below she was talking about this wallet that she carries with her and it's a business card holder it's about I would say this thick and the same size as this maybe just a tad slimmer I thought, oh my God, this is amazing. Like she fit all her debit cards, credit cards, her store cards in there. She never has to look for her card. When she flips, she gets a visual right away. And I thought that was the greatest idea because I have a lot of store cards. A wallet is not big enough for me. I had to rifle through different pockets in my wallet to find the, you know, my Best Buy card because I don't go there all the time or whatever. And I have been looking for a, the perfect solution. Well, I think I found it. Now, what's different from Alejandra's solution is my the format of my wallet. As you can see, it's very small. Uh, this is my hand and I don't have the biggest hands. I've seen wallets bigger than that. But it's a six ring binder and this works amazingly well because it's small enough to carry and it's also small enough to fit in my purse. This is my summer purse. It's old but I love it and it's as you can see it's not it's not big. This is my hand and I can just slip it inside here and I'm still able to snap it in place just to show you it's not a big wallet so I'm gonna open it up and show you what's inside there's room here for a business card here you've got a nice pocket I very rarely carry money on me I'm a debit card credit card person so if I have paper money I can slip it easily in that pocket here and if I have loose change I usually throw it in my car <laughs> as soon as I get back into my car I put it in my jeans pocket and then I get into my car and it gets thrown away. So I will buy a little coin purse and maybe I can find something small enough to slip inside here. This pocket is good to put paper money and like I said I don't have a lot so that's not a big concern and whatever receipts I have uh, from my shopping spree that I just been on. And right now here I have a receipt from my contact lenses that I ordered so when I go back to the store it'll be here for me to uh, give to them. I've divided my wallet into different sections. First section is all my store cards. As you can see here, like I have a Best Buy, the Body Shop and whatnot. So that way, if I go to the store and they always ask you, do you have your rewards card? And I end up having to look at three different places. I'll show you my old wallet. Like I had stuff here, then I had stuff here, and then I had stuff here and here, and it would take me forever to find the card that I don't use often and then you end up with a line at the cash behind you and they're all getting upset. It used to frustrate me a lot. So like I said this is perfect. I can just flip through and you know everything's there. Love it. The second section is what I use to pay with and um, I've flipped my cards over so you don't see my numbers. Um, I do have a lot of those because I also take care, I look after my mom's uh, financial stuff and my dad's estate and whatnot. So I do have a lot of debit cards and credit cards and bank cards and whatnot. So these are all in this section. I didn't want to put them in the front because the day that I pay cash, if there's a lot of people around me, they won't see my bank cards. This envelope that also acts as a divider is an envelope that I got from the Sarah Binders collection by Hot Off The Press and they had those years and years ago. I'm not sure that they still sell it but you can probably do a search online and I'm sure that you'll find something equivalent to that. So in there I have coupons. I'm not big on coupons but I do have some that I use frequently like Bath and Body Works coupons because I'm addicted to that store 
they get thrown in here and when I need them they're in here so I just thought that would that was perfect it's a centralized spot because of my old wallet they were all over the place and I ended up forgetting about them so I know that that big flashy pink envelope is my coupon envelope so here, like I said, I have all my, my credit cards and my bank cards and whatnot. I have everything also that pertains to our Medicare system, my hospital card. So anything really vital is into that section. Now, the last page of this, and this is upside down, <laughs> this is my driver's license, my car registration, and my proof of insurance. I decided to put this on one page and for one reason. The odd times that I will need to carry something that is smaller than this is probably, you know, you go to a wedding or, you know, you go somewhere fancy and uh, you have a fancier purse. My main thing that I need to carry on me is obviously my driver's license and my Medicare card. So the only thing that I'll have to do is grab my Medicare card slide it here, fold this, put this in my clutch, and I'm good to go. So I just thought that was another great idea. So this is the second section, and this also is an envelope, so if I need to put something else in there, I have room for it. The second to last thing that I have in my wallet is a shopping list. I always have a running shopping list, as most people do, and so I just listed them onto these sheets of paper that also is from the Sarah Binders collection. I, that way I always have it with me. I don't need to grab, because I used to have a notebook also that I needed to carry. Well, half of the time I ended up forgetting it. That way I have my list with me because it's in my wallet. Here I have a section on gluten-free snacks and another envelope. At the end I have a bunch of post-it notes, so I thought that was nice to have. So this is my wallet. Well, you're going to say, okay, Catherine, well, what about your purse? Well, most of the time, I don't need a purse. Really, I don't. I have, I, I go everywhere in my car. So I have tissues in my car. I have lipstick in my car that I can reapply, wipes for my hands. I have basically everything in my car. So I really, really don't need a purse. And the odd times that I do need a purse, well, this is small enough to just slip inside my purse. The other thing I like also about this is that it fits perfectly inside the pocket of uh, my door in my car. The other thing that I added to, the other thing that's different from the video that I saw is this clip here. And basically, it's just a hair tie that I got. I got a whole bunch of them at my dollar store. And so when this one breaks, I'll be able to replace it. I removed this clip from um, a lanyard that I had at home. And basically, when I go somewhere and I grab my wallet and I lock my door to my car, then I just clip my keys to it and I'm good to go. I don't need to stuff this in my jean pockets or anything. And it's all there, it follows me everywhere. The only thing that's missing from this solution is a place to store my phone. Most often than not, I stuff my phone in my jeans pockets. <laughs> I know it's not very ladylike, but I will find a solution for this. I thought of making like a plastic pocket out of a sheet protector that's snug enough to hold the phone and then have a specific insert for this, but then the wallet gets a little bit bulky. Not that I would mind for the odd times that I do have to put the phone inside, but we'll see. So that's it guys. I was so excited about this. I'm so happy to have found what I think for me is the best wallet solution. And I hope that you'll go check out Home Organizing and I hope that this was helpful to some of you. Uh, if it was boring to some of you, I do apologize and I hope you didn't watch until the end. My next I Organize video will be on my uh, Arts and Crafts Supply inventory book. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see, see you soon. Bye.